What up, YouTube? Welcome back to Wild Arms. It's been a while, hasn't it? I apologize for that. And uh, I guess I just sort of lost interest in a bit, but I decided to like go come back to Wild Arms. You know, gotta finish it. Anyway, we were last left off. Uh, we finished off uh, Jack's. Um, well, Jack confront Jack or Garrett now confronted his uh, past. We took down Lady Harkin slash Almina, Jack unlocked his courage, and the Lion Idol, the Guardian of Courage, unleashed itself. However, shortly after, we get a vision that apparently Siegfried unleashed the Tower of Kadingle, and which will lead to some space colony that will destroy the planet. So if a guy's in danger, you know, the demons are, you know, we're, Approaching endgame, so of course this is the perfect opportunity to do side quests. Like in all RPGs. Uh yeah, you might notice why uh, Jack's name is well Jack. See what actually ended up happening is I uh <coughs> forgot to save in my last part, so his name is still Jack. Hmm. Maybe I should change that. But, anyway, like, yeah, I'll change that later. Anyway, uh, let's get on with the, uh, side quests that we have. <clears throat> and our side quests. If you recall, um, we apparently saw that, um, Captain Drake, Bartholomew's, uh, rival, ends up living in Al Adelhide now. And apparently, after he found the remnants of sweet candy at the ship graveyard. So now, we got our ship back. However, since we have the, you know, the bird, you might be thinking, oh, well, what, what is this for, right? Like, why would we need to go back to the sea? Well, it's actually for an optional boss. You see the, this part right here, these shat, these deep, darker parts of the ocean. What you want to do is keep sailing in them, and we're going to encounter a boss. Quite similar to how we encountered that one golem. If you recall, the where it's actually well, um, so you just have to keep sailing back and forth. So I'll let me see if I can get lucky like I did last time. I believe it's no specific area. You just have to keep sailing. <clears throat> you have to keep sailing and sailing. So I guess I'll probably cut till you know I encounter it. So see you then. Eh, that took a while, but I did it. Something is rising from the depths. Look familiar, huh? That's right, that's because our encounter is... Our optional boss is... Another golem, Leviathan. Yes, this is the stone mermaid that sunk the original sweet candy. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though. You know, I mean, this thing sunk sweet candy, and here it is, on the ship. As if it's like smaller than the actual ship that it sank. And for some reason it doesn't sink here. <laughs> Video game logic, right? Anyway, Leviathan, she can be pretty tough. You can call it a she since, well... Might as well be a she. Uh, it actually has a weakness. It is weak to... Thunder. But let's slow it down first now. Let's use our typical uh, strategy we have for most battles. But Leviathan isn't too tough. Deep Sea Cyclone. Well, that wasn't really a cyclone. Hmm. Did hurt quite a bit, though. But now that she's slowed down, this will be a lot easier. Eh, just be on the safe side. Let's heal blade up you. <clears throat> Odd though, they call it a Leviathan, yet it looks nothing like a Le Leviathan. If you notice the deep, actually, if you notice the deep sea water that I was, you know, sailing through, it actually resembles that of a Leviathan. So you know, it's it's kind of cool. That's how that's how you know. It's kind of interesting that you know the thing that sank the ship. You know, you get to fight it now. Of course, what doesn't really make much sense is like how it can, it doesn't just sink the ship now, right? So, until it gives me a chance. Mm. 
I could always like give Cecilia the Thunder Ruin, High Guardian the Thunder it, and uh, it would do a lot of damage. Or I could just use High Spark too. Rudy, of course, the heart. Aurora Destruction. Oh, come on. You didn't even have a fancy animation for that either. Whatever. Just uh, keep hammering them. Well, with Cecilia, well, since it can't take us down, like, to, you know, can't take us down for, like, a lot of, you know, in one hit and whatnot, we can just keep remedying with Cecilia. Lather, rinse, rep repeat, and we keep coming back to full health. So there's no way this thing can kill us. I believe it doesn't have any one of KO moves at all. Come on, I even did the... Whatever. I don't even need its weakness, but uh, I guess I'll just show off the electricity anyway. But see, I'm like, yeah, you know, so it's not... Leviathan's not that big of a deal. Reactor Torpedo. And just the ice animation, and... <laughs> Oh, that was the chance, I guess, but I don't know. I don't want my characters to die or anything. You know, we might get all the experience we can. I may actually have to do some grinding off-screen. I hadn't done any, like, off-screen in a long time. I mean, you see, I've been just busy with the uh, new Super Smash Brothers game for the Wii U. Trying to complete it. So I just kind of forgot about Wild Arms a bit. Eh. I gotta tell you, I think my old PlayStation is, uh, I guess since the inactivity of it, even after those other years of inactivity, I think it's finally starting to... I mean, I've been saying this for quite a while, but I think, you know, eventually it might just break down entirely. It happens. That's right, just keep hammering us. As you can see, though, the high spark, I mean, I guess if I was higher leveled, that would do even more damage. I could always use the Summon Guardian. If you don't, you know, I could just use the regu regularly and I just get a free heal. Of course, you always want to do the High Guardian to get it. Not only do you get healed, you, get, you inflict like a lot of damage. And it is a lot. Mm. Now, not all optional bosses are going to be this, like, easy, though. Hm, Trident. I guess you could say that's a Mercy type attack. Maybe physical based. Whatever. Uh, I don't know. Let's. Uh... Oh yeah, I think it has a bullet clip to steal, but I'm not gonna bother with that. What a phaser zap. Uh, any? Yeah, I wonder what would happen if I used Saint. You know, you think an attack with all seven attributes would be a lot more epic, kind of like Rainbow, even though it's just a recolor of the regular blast that we've had. Eh, those are around the same. Huh, and what do you know? It took us uh, nine, close to nine minutes, but there it is. Subtracting two minutes from the, you know, just getting here, and it's, uh, you know, seven minutes. Ten thousand. And we get, um, Celia's, um, I believe, ultimate armor. This stress. With that, another, go another golem that should have been ours is... Lost. And that is pretty much all you need for this week, Candy. I mean, unless you want to feel nostalgic and go on the open sea, you can. You know, fight some sea creatures, but other than that, that's it. Uh, let's heal up. Oh yeah, by the way, I donated some last of my money, um, also here, off script, 50000 I believe that was the last payment, which means, I believe, one of you, I think, is supposed to give me something. I'm gonna go accidentally to the transport to the guy to the ultimate location, I don't know how to get back. Romantic. That's someone supposed to give me something. There's an underwater ruin near the town. Ah! So... This person, there is underwater ruin near the town of Rosetta to the south. 
He is referring to Kadingle, the tower. Yes. Why is this pub in Adelheid supposed to just tell you these little hints and facts, I guess? I don't know if this is something in RPG, but RPG is like for the pub to be like a place to gather info, but there it is. Just as I was thinking that peace was at hand, the world returned to chaos again. What was the meaning of this? I believe that money that I gave is supposed to... Ah, this person. This house was empty, so now... If the ill pyramid malfunctions, you could be cast anywhere in Fulgaia. Oh, wait, I was... I think I was wrong. Hey, Drake. I just like my present. I just imagined the look on the video. Um... That's odd. I could've... You're supposed to get something from, like, this town. Once upon a time, there was an Anglo Moa. The King of Illusions lived on the Isle of Combat. A hint to the next optional boss to fight. But actually, that's later. He's actually a really tough one. Uh, let's see here. I think I've done all the donations I can. I'm pretty sure I have said, though, that, like, um... These are supposed to be your rewards for, like, you know, continuously giving your money over, you know, to aid in the restoration of Adelheid. Not only some changes, but... Really? Oh, wow. I guess... Okay, I guess I have to give one la uh, last 100,000. Eh, yeah, while I'm here, I guess I can just... Yeah. I believe, like, once you complete it, you get this last um, item, and it's gonna help it. It's an interesting item, to say the least. Hmm. I'm supposed to have to use this eventually. I always could use the glitch to give me the money. Hmm. Let me cut. Okay, on to um, optional side quest number two. Actually, I don't even need this bird to travel around. Now we have teleport. We can just go wherever we want. Let's go to Malama Village. Wait, no, wrong one. I meant Baskar Village. Yeah, that's it, Baskar. This is the one. You know, that native place. Now, if you recall, way, 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 way long ago, there used to, they talked about a guardian of hope. And, you know, every time you keep coming here, trying desperate, trying to, like, um, you know, get the Guardian of Hope. Let's talk to this dog. Mm. Oh, I'm an old dog. I've been here for over 15 years. Thanks, dog. <laughs> Doggy. So, now that you ha when you get both the Kurt... Courage and Hope Ruins. Is Zeref really going to answer our plea? We need hope in order to survive this dying world. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh. -oh. uh <laughs> Ooh. We need hope indeed for this world that resets. Yeah, that's just the glitch of my old PS1. It'll just reset sometimes automatically like that. Sometimes frequently and sometimes not. I can't really help it. It's old. Anyway, continuing on. We have the love courage. Hopefully, we can unlock the last um, high guardian from the where is it? The dragon idol, the dragon god. Raftina and Justine's ruins radiate a dazzling light. Even our light doesn't reach him. If we give up now, we will have no future. Rudy! What do you think you're doing? Standing there in that exact same spot and never once... <laughs> Not taking any steps. You didn't take any steps, Jack. Garrett. Are you trying to open the path to the future with the light from your heart? You are an artificial being. An artificial heart cannot bring a bright future. Justine, dude. You cannot call the future wind. Why do you still seek the future Phil Gaia? How can you do that? You're all alone in this world. You are a stranger who does not belong anymore. Guys, what the heck? Where's this coming from? 
How can you try to open the future to this world? Can you believe in dreams? <laughs> now Rudy's like, I think, looking down. Come on, Rudy. Buck up. You never gave up. As long as you, you have that spirit, you'll always be right for this world. It's because of you, Rudy, that we were able to believe in the future. Please, don't think that you don't belong in this world. We need you in this world. Okay. <laughs> the light from the artificial heart is reaching the future! The hope? No way! But wait, this brightness really is... The light of hope. Yeah. I don't know, that was kind of a jerkish... Random jerkish moment from the two guardians. You preach about hope and all of a sudden you're... You're like putting Rudy down. The dragon idol shatters into pieces. And with the last one... The guardian of hope. A dragon. Our Bahamut of this game. <laughs> I am the guardian of hope. The light from the heart that people have lost. Rudy, your heart is not of nature, yet its light woke me. If you believe in the future, then use my powers to fight in the name of hope. Hmm. The Hope Ruin. It's true that the Westwood Zerif brings hope to our dying world. I feel as though I can believe in the future again. Yes, the Hope Ruin. Look at those stat increases. And with that, our three Super Guardians are with us. And <laughs> we are even now more powerful than ever to take on the demons. The light that has been forgotten is waiting among our people. The power that is derived from courage is the power to conquer the past. Hence Jack confronting his past. Symbolic. It is the essence of the inner revolution. The power to protect the precious is the power of love. The powers of love and courage are the powers of the West Wind. The hope for tomorrow, the belief in possibilities, is the power of hope. The great flapping wings of Zeref, Zephyr, not Ze Zephyr, will ultimately open Philgaia's future. That's all I have to say. So, you know, that's cool. You know, hearing this now, I just think about all the RPGs and stuff, and believe all the anime and stuff I've watched. Always that feeling of believe, believe this, believe that, have a strong belief in this, as long as you believe in... I mean, it's the same thing, you know. Whenever you do something, whenever you strive for anything, you there is believing in yourself. That It's just basically confidence, having confidence. Confidence is just confidence that. But, I mean, the ga these games and, like, you know, anime stuff preach that, like, so much to the point where it seems just ignorant, though. Like... You know, I mean, they should really ex go into more depth than this, rather than just keep saying, believe this, believe that, believe, believe, believe. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> and silly, they keep, like, hearing that whole believe, 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 believe thing over and over again. It's important, but it's not the only thing that you have to mention. Hmm. Hmm. So what else can we do? Well, to be honest, guys, I think I'm kind of weak right now. And you know what? I think I'm going to have to break my rule here. And uh, get my lucky card. That Use the glitch to get my lucky card up. So, let me do that real quick. So, I did it. And while we're here, why don't we show off, um... Why don't we show off, um, Jack slash Garrett's, you know, Justine... As the Super Guardians, they gave them, like, um, one of the, kind of one of the most appealing one. Well, kind of appealing, just there's more to it than, like, before. <laughs> oh, wow, that's, uh, that's embarrassing. It's a cool attack and all, but I guess it's Earth-based, so it actually ended up healing this enemy, who I guess is, absorbs Earth. See, so you saw the flash, and since it did, and it did zero damage, too, which is odd, so what? I guess because I hadn't inflicted any damage on it before. I transport to the ancient arena because there's actually yet another thing I can show off. Andragora. Too slow. Uh, let me get rid of these guys real quick. Um, now I got Rudy's force up. Why don't we show off his summon? Zephyrs. Zephyrs got some funny eyes, but, you know. Other than that, he's kind of—he's pretty cool dragon. This is his mega flare. 
<laughs> love that little red. Of course, you look close to that, and it does look kind of silly. Still, pretty cool. I guess. Mm. Wow, guys in, the, in this arena are really. Well, I'm not even in the arena. This is just the monster that's in the rocky vicinity. Okay, so, you see those three islands at the bottom? You know, right there. That is where we can get a very rare item, you know, if you don't want to cheat or anything. Uh, it doesn't have to be any specific island. Just have to land here, and we'll run to an enemy that will drop a very useful thing for... If you recall in the ancient arena in the past, we've had talk of um, a key factory. We've heard a lot of things of key this and key that. <laughs> and here are the enemies right here on our first encounter. Heyo Kantan. Heyo Katan, I guess. They're egg. They look egg shaped and they're aliens, I believe. Yeah, that's right. They're aliens. They carry with them a very. Interesting. They have a very interesting item for us. A key fact, and plus we've heard about what the key is. If you've been, you know, playing the game, you know what the key they're talking about is. You can steal it from these guys, or... Oh, I see. I think I can only... I think these are enemies that are actually immune to the prison and... And lucky shot strategy, I'm starting to think. Because that's how I did it in the past, and that's how I was hurt. I heard that's how you get it. I don't know, they might be immune. Yeah, they have that direct voice attack, which is like a shriek. They're actually very. They have a lot of HP, and you know, you wanna. You know. But they do have a lot of HP, but at the same time, you don't you want to knock them out, otherwise, you don't get the dupe the item you want. I'm just gonna, t you know, I think I'm gonna stop the video here. When we come back, we're gonna continue on. See you then.